Hey, how are you? I'm having a cup of tea. And I'm thinking. I have a question. Are you successful? You say, yes, I'm, I'm successful. I, I have money. I earned it. I'm paying my bills, so forth, and so on. Well, let me read something from God's holy word, and then you decide, after hearing this, if you are successful. And here is the word. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and there's 13 verses let me read them verse 1 though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity I am nothing and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity it profiteth me nothing Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. Verse 8 is where I am now. Charity never faileth. You know, your money might fail. Your popularity might fail. All the things that you hold as important in your life at present they might fail. However, verse 8, we read on, Charity never faileth, but where there be prophecies, they shall fail. Where, where there, there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Maybe you have a lot of knowledge. Maybe you have a lot of things figured out. But you're lacking this one thing. If you don't have charity, you have nothing. Verse 9, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. We have the complete word of the living God in our King James Bible. Yes, our King James Bible, not the New King James, not the New International Version, not the perversions that are written on changing the Word of God, adding to it, subtracting from it. God said, don't you dare add to my Word, or don't you dare subtract from my Word. We have the inspired, perfect, preserved Word of the Living God in the King James Bible, and do not let anyone fool you about that. Every word means something. Every word is there for a reason. And it's perfectly preserved in the authorized King James Bible. Okay. Where were we? Verse 8. Charity never faileth, but where there be prophecies, they shall fail. Where there be tongues, they shall cease. Where there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Where we know in part, and we prophesy in part, 
But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, no matter how wise we are in this world, we only know in part. We now, for now I, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity.